Hey guys, Lewis here with premiumbeat.com with an After Effects tutorial on how you can create a pen POV shot. First, let's have a look at this clip from Breaking Bad. So what have we seen here? The camera was attached to an object to give the scene a unique point of view. With the advancement in camera technology and a decrease in camera size, filmmakers have been able to place cameras onto objects and into areas that would have otherwise been impossible, such as a shovel. Today we're going to do something similar, but we're going to cheat a little and use After Effects. Here's the scene. Uh, Jeff is about to sign a contract which he thinks will help him, uh, but instead it's going to bring him impending doom. So what we can do is use the idea of attaching the camera to a pen for a unique perspective on this particular moment. Now I know what you guys are thinking, those two pens aren't the same and uh, you're right but we're working with a budget here guys so you know and secondly I have no idea what, what this says, it was supposed to say Jeff but it kind of looks like juice but sort of misspelled. It's been at least 10 years since I last picked up a pen so you just gotta work with what we have you know. So here's how you do it, first open up After Effects and import your footage. As a side note, before we jump into the tutorial, if you know that you intend on applying this effect when filming, you want to make sure that you have a clear shot of the pen tip and to make sure that it stays in focus throughout so we can track it easier in post. For the sake of this tutorial, I shot it in 60 frames per second to negate the motion blur. You also want to film at the highest resolution possible because we will be cropping the shot. And most importantly, you want to make sure the camera is framed so it looks like the camera is on top of the pen to some extent. So we're going to create a new composition with the footage and find where the pen first touches the paper to where it ends. If the tracker panel isn't open, you go to window and select tracker, then hit track motion and you'll be taken to the layer window. Set your track point at the nib or tip of the pen and then hit analyze forward. Now the tracker does have a slight bit of trouble following the tip because as the ink hits the paper and the pen moves away, sometimes the tracker thinks that the black ink is actually the pen tip. So you're going to have to go back and manually adjust the tracking if needed. When you have successfully tracked the motion, create a new null object and make sure that it's the target and hit apply. We are then going to add a new camera layer. The default setting is fine and we're going to parent the camera layer to the null object. And to make the magic, we then need to turn our pen clip into a 3D layer by clicking this icon. We now have the camera following the tip of the pen as if it was attached to the pen itself. However, we have a video clip that now jumps around the composition and shows a lot of negative space. As I said, it is better to film in 4K if you have that option so we can simply change the composition to 1080 and crop and scale the footage. If you don't have the option of filming in 4K, try to frame your shot with a bit of open space. So there we go, it's a very simple but cool technique. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. You can license all of the music and sound effects used in this tutorial at premiumbeat.com and you can find more tips posted throughout the week on premiumbeat.com forward slash blog. Until next time.